Hey guys, this is Subhash Esmishra, your test coach. Today we will learn how to iterate or loop over array list in Java. There are four different ways we can do it. So one is for loop, second one is advanced for loop, then while loop, then iterator. We will write a program and we will see how to loop over array list in four different ways. So let's go to our Eclipse. Okay. And let me create a new class. Okay. So I'll create a new class and I will name it as Traverse array list. Okay. Public static void main finish. So the very first thing what we'll do, we'll create an array list. Okay. So we'll write array list and the type will give integer okay then object name al is equal to new array list and fine we need to import this array list make sure you are importing this java.util okay so we have created an instance then what we'll do we'll add the values so how you will do it you can do it al dot add here right so add the integer value for example 15 similarly we can add more okay anything you can add any numbers so i'll add for example 71 uh, 45 example 59 and 82 okay so or array list contains all these integers okay then what we'll do the first thing what we'll do we'll traverse array list through for loop okay so for example here i'll put just for your understanding traverse through for loop for loop okay then let us do it so the very first thing what you can do you can write a for loop for okay then int counter so we are taking one variable counter type is integer and is equal to zero then what we are telling counter is less than al dot size means array list dot size we are looping it right then counter plus plus okay then what you need to do you just need to do a sys out here you need to write al dot get here counter okay so let's see run as java application so here you can see right traverse through for loop and we are getting whatever we have added 15 71 45 59 and 82 so what we did here we have taken one simple for loop and we have taken a variable type is integer and counter is equal to zero right then we are telling counter is less than al dot size so what is al al is the object here right al dot size so what is the size here it will be five right if you just want to see it you can just print it right size of the array list okay then what you can do plus al dot size so you will get size also okay let me run it so it's getting executed yeah so size of the array list is 5 okay so we got size as 5 then what we are doing counter equal to 0 first it is 0 then 0 is less than 5 counter plus plus okay then we are printing al dot get counter so counter value is equal to 0 so what we got in 0th position 15 is there that's why we got 15 then 
here it was counter plus plus right so counter value is equal to 1 now 1 is less than 5 okay so again we are printing here what we got 71 similarly counter value again increased it became 2 then we got 45 then it became 3 then we got 59 then it became 4 and we got 82 so this is how your for loop works and you got this result right so now we will move to the next way how we can traverse right through advanced for loop okay so i'll just comment out this part and what we'll do we'll just take this one so i am writing here traverse through advanced for loop okay so what we'll do here again it will be similar what we did above just it is a advanced for loop so what you can do for integer then we are telling norm this is the way how we write for the advanced for loop right al then simply we are printing it what we are printing norm okay so that's all let's execute okay see we got 15 71 45 15 and 82 whatever we have given here right so what happened here if we we'll try to understand so this is the advanced for loop right so uh, integer now so we have taken a variable type is integer and we will iterate through this uh, array list right so in this array list we know the values are 15 71 45 59 and 82 and we know if we we'll use this advanced for loop it will iterate through the from first value to last value it will go step by step right so in the first iteration we got the value as 15 again when the second iteration will happen in the first iteration we got value as 15 which we printed here right so we got 15 in the second iteration again the loop will go and in the second iteration we will get the value as 71 similarly we will get in the third iteration 45 and so on 59 and 82 okay so that's why it is simple right the uh, number of lines the number of code uh, are less here okay so that's one of the way you can traverse through using advanced for loop okay we will move to the next one okay for now i will comment it out okay and let me copy this and paste it here okay and what will tell it now we will do traverse through while loop okay so i'll just write while loop this is also simple you know uh, we have used while loop before okay so again we'll take one variable type is integer and name is as count and we'll assign zero to it okay then we'll write while okay then what is the condition al dot size so we know al dot size is 5 okay and what we are telling is greater than count count value is equal to 0 and al dot size value is equal to 5 so when we are telling if al dot size is greater than count then what is the condition here we will print here right we will write al dot get count and finally we will increase the count value ok so let's execute it and see what is happening we got the value right traverse through file loop 1571 45 59 and 82 ok so what happened here so we have taken one variable count as 0 then we are writing while loop while al dot size so al dot size we know 5 5 is greater than 0 we are printing system dot out print ln al dot get count so in the 0th value what is there 15 is there so 15 got printed then count plus plus we increase the count value count value is equal to 1 now so loop went here so al dot size so 5 is greater than equal to count value is equal to 1 okay then we printed al dot get count so in the count value now it is 1 so what we got we got 71 similarly again count value increased count value 2 
5 is greater than 2 condition matched so then we printed system dot out print ln al dot get count so count value is equal to uh, 2 now right so in the 2 uh, what is there it is 45 similarly we got 59 and 82 okay so this is one of the way you can traverse through while loop okay so let me comment out this and copy this let me paste it here and now we will traverse through iterator okay so the very first thing what you can do you need to create an instance of iterator okay so to do that what we will do we will write iterator okay then instance is it okay is equal to al dot iterator fine we need to import it make sure you are importing java dot util ok then what you can do you can write one while loop while it so this is the instance of iterator right dot has next i'll say what is has next to ok then what you can do you can just print ok what you will print it dot next ok so that's all now let me execute it see traverse to iterator and we got all these values right 15 71 45 15 and 82 so the question is what this has next to and what this next to right so this has next returns true if there is next element in the array list and what this next to so this next will returns the next element of the array list okay so what we did here first first we took iterator okay we created an instance of the iterator okay iterator it equal to this al this al is nothing but our array list dot iterator okay then we simply write one while loop while it it this uh, instance right it dot has next so has next i told right it will return true if there is next element so if there is next element then we are telling system dot out print ln it dot next so just get the next element of the array list so what is the array list next element 51 similarly the loop will go uh, go again here and if it has the next element then print it so it will return true okay then we will come here and we will print the next element 71 45 59 82 so this is the way how you can traverse through iterator okay to get the array list details so these are the four ways how you can loop over array list okay so you can use any one way okay anything is fine so these are the four ways to loop over array list thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel